and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with a brand new puzzle just released a few days ago and it's called Kepler. Full metal and it's called Kepler. The designer is Felix Ewer. If you remember also the designer of the Titan puzzle, which was for me definitely one of the hardest puzzles of last year. And also the Hip Flask puzzle, which is a really enjoyable puzzle that reminds a little bit about a Revo Maze. And who knows these puzzles know that Felix Ewers always deliver full metal puzzles. Previous two have been entirely made out of brass. This one, however, is his first puzzle made from aluminium and also a little bit of brass. It's a packing puzzle called Kepler, as I mentioned. And the task is to take 11 steel balls, put them inside of this box, and then be able to close the lid. If you achieve that, the puzzle is solved. I'm not sure how difficult this puzzle is. It's rated lower, definitely lower than the Titan puzzle and also than the Hip Flask puzzle on Felix Yu's website. I need to stop you for a second because I recorded this intro before I solved this puzzle. Now I solved it. And I can only tell you the solution is absolutely brilliant. If you like brilliant and clever puzzles, this puzzle is definitely something for you. And just put in this comment to make sure to not spoil yourself if you really consider getting this one. And the reason why this puzzle is called Kepler is because of the Kepler conjecture, which is named after Johannes Kepler and which is basically, and I googled that, basically a mathematical theorem that is about sphere packing and three-dimensional space. So I didn't read any more details about this. I will do this later after I recorded this video to not spoil myself. If you ask me, it's a pretty well thought and well-fitting name for this puzzle where you need to pack these spheres inside of this box. So I would propose I just start with the spoiler break and afterwards you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve the Kepler by Felix Ewer. So here we go. Let's see, are there really 11 balls inside? Let's just count them. 5, 10, 11, yes. Okay, I will just put the box over here or take the lid of the box to not lose the balls because I'm not sure something is wrong here and my <laughs> desk is not straight. So therefore I will put them in here. Let's just put them inside and let's see if we can find some details which you might not see from outside. So the first thing I do is I just take the ball inside or put the ball inside, roll it around everywhere to understand if it's maybe not rolling continuously. And there is maybe somewhere a small step or a deepened area which enables me to stack the balls different as it seems. But it looks, everything inside looks pretty much okay and straight. The quality, by the way, is super cool. There are some scratches over here because of a small accident. Oh, and it's difficult to get them out. Ah, okay, now I understand the purpose of this magnet, I think. It's just to easier get out the balls. Ah, clever feature. Can I maybe also move the balls around here? Yes, I can, as you can see, but I cannot lift them. To lift them, the magnet seems to be too weak. So what you can see here, and this is pretty interesting, is that they do not fit two balls beside each other. Box seems to be too small for that. I maybe need to stack them like in a zigzag pattern. Let's see if this works out. This, oh, I think this, this maybe is not only a packing puzzle, but also some kind of dexterity challenge. Maybe I can use the magnet now to manipulate the ball. So what I will do now is I will stack them in a way that they are like diagonal, like two over here and another two over here on top. Okay, let's see how this works. If I see this, this looks pretty challenging to get in the last ones. Okay, two more to go. Last one in the upper corner. I think that's it already. No. Ah, there's one more left. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoa. How to get in the last one? Where? Let's see if it... Even this one, even with one ball left, I cannot close the lid. As you can see, it's not fully closed, so I assume this is wrong. That's interesting. This is really interesting. Taking out the balls is really satisfying. Don't ask me why, but using this magnet to take them out is super cool. But let's try to repeat it again. Maybe it's just a manner of the, that the balls need to be perfectly positioned. Let's see if I stack it like so. Can I put this one on top? Would it help me? OK, 
Can I close the lid like so? Yes, I would be able to close it. Hmm. Okay. And here in the front, it's possible to the uh, two balls fit beside each other. This is now also possible in the rear. Yes, it is. Small finger advantage. <laughs> okay. Or are they maybe the all maybe the steel balls are not all the same? Is that possible? Let's see. This would be devilish if one of the balls would be a few mils small and actually it seems like this is the case because these fit beside each other no way and the other do not so it depends on what balls you combine it seems these two balls here fit perfectly beside of each other inside but if i take another one they do not fit let's let's put them here in this box No, they do not fit beside each other. And the last one probably also do not fit. No, it does not. Okay, so these five here do not fit beside each other. While these six here, no matter how I combine them, probably will fit each other. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's see. If I fit them beside each other, two by two by two, Sorry for all this sorting activity, but this seems to be definitely part of the puzzle. Now they look all the same. <laughs> oh man. No, this one is definitely bigger. This one is definitely bigger. Okay, what I, what I do now is I, I test this bigger one with all the other ones. Because I would like to know if I have one bigger one, this one, or do I have both ball bearings be bigger? Because in this way I can figure out if there are only one or if there are multiple ones. Because I know, what I know now is that if I have one big ball, it's enough to block the other ones. According to our tests, we confirmed that this ball is bigger than the others. So no matter with what ball I put this one inside, it, it will not be able to be aligned, but always will be somehow shifted and consume some additional space. So I would assume that I need to put in this ball at last. And I hope this is not really a design mistake here or a mistake and he ordered the wrong size or put the wrong size on the back. I hope this has really something to do with the puzzle, otherwise I'm completely messed up. But this is what I'm focusing now on. I can't continue with my pattern because there's not enough space to stack another line. And now I just noticed that one of the balls is that the balls are do not fit beside each other anymore. Ha! Huh? How can this be? I tested all of them. It seems that I was wrong and that there are more spheres that do not fit beside each other. Okay, now I got four of them in a line. Four of them in a line. So these seem to have the right size. And there's still some space. Okay, so these seem to be small ones. So there's one ball. One ball which is definitely bigger than the other ones. Much bigger. But it seems like, I'll put this one over here. And it seems like these here are also, I sorted them now based on this pattern I mentioned. And it seems some of them are also slightly bigger. So we seem to have one very big ball. And we seem to have five and five of the same size. And I will just now take four of these over here, of the small ones, and see if I stack them if they stack in one line inside here. And they easily do, as you can see. Okay, so now I sorted them again. Very small one, middle one. Very small one, middle one, big one. So. No, this one does not fit. Okay, careful, 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 guys. So this time I just sorted them again. This time I have again a different result. Four and six. So let's just check it again. One of those. One of those. One of those on the top. 
Here we go. One of these. And one of these. And now this one on the top. And does the lid close? Yes, it does close. Oh, it does really close, as you can see. It's closed completely, entirely. Woo, I have no idea how long this took me. I think around one hour or something, maybe even longer. So I got all the bolts out and now let me explain you my theory about how this works and we will try to measure also something. So I will just get my calipers. 12.3, 12.6, 12 12.9 or 13. This seems to be the big one I mentioned. And from this one to the other ones, you can definitely see also difference just using your eyes, 12.6. Okay, so these four here are 12.3. And you remember I had also like four and um, six and I was kind of confused. But it seems to be really that these are four 12.3 and six 12.6. A 12.3 and then I put in a 12.6 beside this one. And I put a 12.6 on top. Then I put the next line, I put a 12.6 on this side, this time the other side and a 12.3 here to have in the end on each side two times 12.3 and two times 12.6. So, and now I'm gonna try to repeat that and confirm it. Take a small one to the right and then big one on the left, big one on the top, big one on the right. And it does fit in as you can see, they fit in in length direction, four by four. And the last one, the big one, I will just put here on top. And this enables me to close the lid. As you can see, puzzle is solved. So, and now I'm interested to know if this was the correct solution. Felix, now it's your turn. Please comment below and let us know, is this the correct solution or is there any other solution? If there's another solution available, please do not put it in the comments. Just let me know and I will try to figure it out. That's gonna be very interesting. And if it's really up to the sizes of the balls, the three different sizes, this is super sneaky, to be honest. <laughs> so Felix did it again. Great puzzle, great solve. Super enjoyable puzzle, absolutely recommended. Not sure how interesting it was to watch me solving it. However, let me know in the comments, put your comments down below what you think about this video, what you think about this puzzle. And until next time, keep on puzzling.